Today, two grocery store chains head back to court in Colorado. The state attorney general has filed a lawsuit to block the proposed $24.6 billion Kroger Albertsons merger. They are the parent companies of King Supers and Safeway, respectively. That is reporter Courtney Yoon joins us live from Denver District Court this morning. Courtney, this is week two of the trial. Yes, that's right. Good morning, Corey. This today begins week two of this trial that's expected to last at least three weeks. Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser says if this merger goes through, it'll lead to less competition, less worker rights, worse customer service and higher grocery store prices. Now Kroger says that this isn't going to happen, that they need to be able to compete with other stores like Amazon, Costco and Walmart. According to our legal analyst Whitney Trailer, who has been watching this case, Trailer says other experts have tested Justified, explaining this merger could lead to food deserts in more rural areas where there may only be one or no stores left for people to choose from. If the merger were to go through, Kroger says it would sell off a number of stores to CNS wholesale grocers, which own stores outside of Colorado. Besides our state, there's also a case ongoing in Washington state, and the FTC is waiting on a ruling from a federal judge. Trailer says it might be difficult for the grocery stores to win all three cases. I think the grocery stores have an uphill battle between these three cases because essentially for a nationwide merger, if there's no state carve outs, they're going to have to win all three trials and that's it's difficult to win one trial. So to win three on, the, on essentially the same issues, it's going to be challenging. Now this would be a national merger and Trailer says if it were to go through, Kroger would become one of the top 10 largest private employers in the nation. Live in Denver, Courtney Yoon, 9 News. We'll see what comes out of this. Courtney, thank you for the update.